I only have about 10 minutes to bore you. And I really thought a lot about this 10 minutes. Like, what am I going to say to bore you? So what I thought I might do is talk about t-shirts. <laughs> you always encounter people who have t-shirts on with a message. I thought about two messages that I've seen on t-shirts. One of them was in Boston. And this guy was just jogging right past me. And he says, live a life of impact. And I said, my God, doesn't this just capture what every one of us should be doing? Live a life of impact. And why do we have to have a t-shirt that says that? Well, people like me, just to be reminded that we all need to be living a life of impact. The second t-shirt that always I've been thinking about is, when in doubt, zoom out. I tell my students, residents, said, you know, we need to zoom out, look the whole picture. And usually when you zoom out, something that really comes out of it is gratitude. Try to act at all times with character, integrity, dignity, and grace. The world is bad enough as it is, so I have no right to make it worse. Your attitude will be a major determinant of your altitude. If you think about gratitude, attitude has a lot to do with gratitude. I always remind myself of how grateful I should be, and the world looks a lot different when I know I need to be grateful. Let's just remind ourselves of being more grateful. There are a lot more things to be grateful than we often acknowledge. For our graduates, I commend you for getting through the last three years. I'm proud of each one of you for going through times that have been at times rough. You showed us your resilience your flexibility, your honesty, your integrity, your perseverance. Keep that up. I want to thank you for being part of our program. I want to thank you for making our patient care better. And I want to thank you for making our community a better community. And best of luck. And you know we're always going to be here for you. Thank you so much. seemingly constantly in flux. Uh, thank you for being patient uh, as we try to uh, figure out numerous transitions in the uh, and numerous transitions in policies and procedures and what's involved. So, so we have some new awards this year. So I'm going to start first with the uh, Humanism Award, an award that was voted on by peers as well as faculty. Uh, with that said, Dr. Elizabeth Houston is our winner this year for the Humanism Award.
of professional obligations, they still show up day after day, week after week, year after year. The first award goes to the Outstanding Outpatient Provider. This award goes to Dr. Katherine Garland. The second award goes to this year's Outstanding Subspecialist Attending. This award goes to Dr. Karen Jopi. The last uh, award that we're going to give tonight for our faculty uh, is for the uh, outstanding uh, inpatient attending. We have to thank Dr. Plitsko for being an outstanding uh, attending for us. We appreciate it. Every one of our 24 residents is deserving of one award or another. Every one of our residents has something, a special quality or characteristic about them. Um, but tonight we're going to focus on our eight graduating residents. These eight outstanding physicians who spent three years with us here at Mercy learning, practicing, caring for one another and for their patients. I am the first time the program director at this graduation, so this is my first opportunity to graduate our residents. Number one, in life, pursue your passions, not fortune or fame, and find the best mentors to guide you. Dr. Mark Big. Try to be the best you can, regardless of how good or bad anyone is. Dr. Nabi Chaudhry Martinez. Number three, try to make the world a better place. This is absolutely right. Whatever the world looks like right now, try to make it better. Dr. Iyit Garabe. Know what you know, but also try to know what you don't know. And that's really a key to, to be a lifelong learner. Don't ever be comfortable with, okay, I think I know this, okay. No, there's a lot more things you can really know about even that. Dr. Daniel Hernandez. Live your life with high hopes and reasonable expectations. So shoot for the stars and settle for the sun. Dr. Azam Khan. Balance your already extraordinary competence with your already extraordinary compassion. And every one of our graduates here has already reached that, that extraordinary compassion point. Dr. Rachel Lee. <laughs> Ethical principles are like rubber bands. If you stretch them far enough, they will break. Just remember that. Dr. Kara Nespol. Last, what I really loved was this. I cannot do all the things the world needs, but right now, the world still needs me to do all the good I can. Dr. Vaibhavi Parsania. Do not brag about or apologize for your roots. You are who you are. Your roots are your roots. Be proud of it. Don't apologize. And you didn't have anything to do with it, right? <laughs> so don't brag about it. It's okay. Someone forgot their glasses. It might be Dr. Marion. We will keep them here for you tonight. <laughs>
<laughs> number four, be shocked but never surprised. I like that. <laughs> like right now, I'm starting, standing here, you're shocked, and I'm standing here telling you this. But you shouldn't be surprised, right? Because this is, this is what I'm supposed to do, right? Um, in the last two years, two and a half, three years, I was just commenting when I saw Dr. Perrin Jofi tonight that I have not seen his face in two years. People grew beards, people lost beards, <laughs> people changed their hair, so I had no idea. Talking to some people is like talking to a turnip, except that only the turnip listens. <laughs> I had never heard that before. I think that is brilliant. I do grow turnips in my, in my garden. I will be listening much more to my turnips. physically and virtually gathered and celebrate the graduation of eight very special physicians to our program. We pray that you will give each one of them the strength and guidance to serve you and humanity in ways that you intended all of us to do. We pray that you bestow each one of them with knowledge, humility, and compassion that's needed to be the best we can be for our patients. In your name we pray. Amen. We made it.